Yellow star thistle is a terrestrial herbaceous weed native to Southern Europe, Western Asia, and the Mediterranean. Its seeds were found in adobe bricks in California, beginning in the early 1800s. Since the mid-1800s, it was also likely introduced to North America in contaminated seed of alfalfa and other crops. Yellow star thistle has been reported throughout much of the U.S., but is most problematic in the West. While a few plants were previously found in Alberta, British Columbia, Ontario, and Saskatchewan, no populations have persisted to date in Canada. Yellow star thistle capitalizes on soil disturbance, but can spread into undisturbed sites as well. It is a serious weed of roadsides, rangeland, pastures, shrub steppe, abandoned cropland, and other disturbed places. Yellow star thistle occurs in a variety of soils and conditions, but is most common below 4,000 feet in elevation on south-facing slopes in areas with more than six inches of rain annually. This weed reduces crop, pasture, and rangeland production and displaces native plant species in natural areas. The thorny spines that surround the flower heads of star thistle interfere with grazing, recreation, and wildlife management. It's toxic to horses, causing a chronic and potentially fatal neurological disorder known as chewing disease. Because of its excessive water usage, yellow star thistle threatens both human economic interests and native plant ecosystems. Yellow star thistle is a winter annual forb. In Mediterranean climates with hot dry summers and moist winters, germination occurs in the fall after autumn rains. Spring germination occurs elsewhere in North America. Rosettes develop from fall through spring, quickly developing long taproots. Rosettes consist of numerous leaves. At open sites, these lie close to the ground. When several yellow star thistle plants are crowded together, rosette leaves grow more upright. Each basal leaf is two to six inches long with lobed margins. Stems bolt in spring and throughout the summer and typically grow one to three feet tall, though in moist areas they can grow up to six feet. Plants have one or more flowering stems with multiple spreading and ascending branches. Stems are upright and rigid. Stem leaves are alternate and attached directly to plant stems by wings that run down the sides of the stems. Stem leaves may be lobed, but are more often narrow with smooth margins. Stem leaves are typically smaller than rosette leaves, ranging from a half to four inches long. All leaves and wings are densely covered with cobwebby hairs, resulting in a characteristic gray-green color. Flowering occurs throughout summer when flower heads up to one inch wide are produced singly at branch tips and sometimes from leaf axles. Very small plants may have an unbranched stem and one flower head while larger plants can have over 100 flower-tipped branches. What appears to be one flower is actually a flower head, containing 10 to 80 yellow florets. Bracts at the base of the flower head are very spiny and are densely to sparsely covered with hairs. Each bract has one long central spine up to an inch long and two or more pairs of short side spines. Flower heads produce numerous seeds of two types, tan-colored seeds with tufts of fine hairs in the center and on the periphery are dark brown seeds without hair tufts. A mature plant typically produces 1,000 to 6,000 seeds annually. Some seeds may remain viable for up to 10 years, though most germinate within three. Plants typically die after setting seed. While numerous weeds in North America have similar lobed leaves and yellow flower heads, they are easily differentiated by lacking the gray-green coloration as well as the spiny bracts on their flower heads. Several weedy species in the same genus more closely resemble yellow star thistle in earlier stages by having similar gray-green, hairy, and lobed leaves or winged stems. These can often be differentiated by lacking sharp spines on the bracts or having different floret colors. The exotic Maltese and Sicilian star thistle are perhaps the most similar because they have spiny flower heads with yellow florets. Maltese star thistle is often smaller. It has purplish coloring at the base of its bracts and all of its seeds have tufts of fine hair. Sicilian star thistle has unlobed leaves. Its flower heads are larger and its seeds all have tufts of dark brown hairs. <laughs>